The information in this video is for educational purposes offering insight into how law enforcement like the FBI tracks cyber criminals. Techniques discussed, especially open source intelligence OSINT, are powerful tools for understanding cybersecurity. This knowledge should empower you to protect yourself, not engage in illegal activities. Attempting to misuse these methods is illegal and can have severe consequences. Real investigations are complex, involving many tools and legal processes beyond this discussion. We aim to demystify a small part of cybercrime investigation. By understanding investigators' methods, you can appreciate online vulnerabilities. This knowledge is crucial for everyone, from casual users to business owners. The same digital footprints that help the FBI can be exploited by criminals. Learning about these techniques is a fundamental aspect of digital literacy. Use this information responsibly and ethically. Now let's explore OSINT and its role in bringing cyber criminals to justice. Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, is simpler and more accessible than it sounds. It involves collecting and analyzing data from open public sources to produce actionable intelligence. This isn't about hacking into private accounts, it's about using available information. Think of it as being a digital detective piecing together clues left in the open. Public sources include social media, government records, news articles, and more. The power of OSINT lies in connecting disparate dots to create a comprehensive picture. For example, a username on a criminal forum might link to a real person's activities. The FBI uses OSINT as a cost-effective, legally straightforward first step in investigations. In the digital age, true anonymity is incredibly difficult to maintain. Every cybercrime investigation starts with a single piece of evidence. It might seem insignificant at first, a tiny digital breadcrumb left behind in the vast expanse of the internet. But for investigators, this is the crucial starting point, the thread that could unravel an entire web of criminal activity. This initial clue could be anything, a malicious IP address that's been flagged for suspicious activity, a hacker's online alias used to taunt victims, or a domain name that's just a little too suspicious to ignore. Each clue, no matter how small, holds the potential to open up new leads. The goal is to trace where this clue appears on the public internet. Investigators scour countless websites, forums, and databases, searching for any mention or trace of their starting point. This process can be painstaking but it's essential for building a foundation for the case. To do this efficiently, investigators rely on specialized software tools. These tools can scan the web, analyze data, and uncover hidden connections that would be impossible to find manually. They help map out the digital landscape surrounding the clue. For example, let's say the investigation begins with a hacker's alias, like Byte Bandit. This name could be the key to unlocking the suspect's entire online presence. Investigators search for this alias across multiple platforms, Google, social media networks, and underground hacker forums. They look for every instance where Byte Bandit has left a digital footprint, whether it's a forum post, a comment, or a profile. The aim is to build a comprehensive collection of all public appearances of Byte Bandit. Each screenshot, post, or profile adds another piece to the puzzle, helping to form a clearer picture of the suspect's online behavior and connections. Investigators then look for overlaps and patterns, details that repeat across different platforms. These overlaps are crucial for confirming that all the evidence points to the same individual, rather than multiple unrelated people. Each overlapping detail, such as a reused username or a matching email address, strengthens the connection to the suspect. The more connections they find, the stronger their case becomes. If investigators uncover an email address, they dig deeper, searching for its use in domain registrations, data breaches, or even old forum posts. This can reveal new links between the suspect and other criminal activities. Analyzing website registration records can sometimes directly connect a criminal website to a suspect's personal blog or social media account, providing a vital breakthrough in the case. With each new piece of information, the web of evidence grows larger and more complex. Investigators step back to see the bigger picture, connecting the dots and moving one step closer to unmasking the person behind the screen. Social media is a treasure trove for OSINT investigators. Many cybercriminals fail to separate their online criminal personas from their real lives. The FBI cross-references small pieces of information to bridge the gap between a hacker's alias and their real identity. Investigators start with a clue, like an email address, and plug it into social media sites. Even a small blurry photo can be a significant lead. Hackers might brag about their exploits on public profiles revealing their location or identity. Investigators analyze a suspect's social network to understand their connections. 
an associate might tag the suspect in a photo, revealing their real name and face. The FBI maps out these social connections to gather corroborating evidence. In social media, you're defined by what you post and who you associate with. These clues help build a complete picture of the suspect's life and location. Dark web forums are central to the cybercrime economy, acting as bustling marketplaces where hackers and cybercriminals from around the world gather to buy, sell, and trade stolen data, hacking tools, and illicit services. These hidden corners of the internet operate in secrecy, protected by layers of encryption and anonymity, making them difficult for outsiders to penetrate. But these forums are more than just black markets. They're also social hubs where hackers boast about their latest exploits, share tips, and compete for status. Building a reputation here is crucial, as trust and credibility can mean the difference between a successful deal and being scammed. For law enforcement, especially the FBI, these forums are a goldmine of intelligence. Agents monitor discussions, track emerging threats, and gather clues about the people behind the screen names. Driven by ego, many hackers can't resist bragging about their achievements. This need for recognition often leads them to reveal technical details or personal quirks, digital fingerprints that can be traced back to them. Another powerful investigative tool is following the money. Cybercriminals rely on digital currencies to move their profits, believing these transactions are invisible. While cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin offer a degree of anonymity, every transaction is recorded on a public ledger called the blockchain. This means that with the right tools, investigators can trace the flow of funds. The FBI meticulously follows these digital trails, tracking funds from the moment they're stolen to the point where they're exchanged for traditional currency or goods, most cryptocurrency exchanges now require users to verify their identities, creating a crucial link between anonymous wallets and real-world individuals. Investigators dig deep into a hacker's form profile analyzing not just their posts but also their interactions, language patterns, and reputation within the community. Details like a user's signature, avatar, and even contact information can provide valuable leads, sometimes revealing more than the hacker intended. By examining the timing of posts and activity logs, investigators can estimate a suspect's likely time zone and even narrow down their country of residence. Each piece of information, no matter how small, acts as a puzzle piece helping law enforcement build a clearer picture and narrow their search. By combining these digital breadcrumbs, investigators can sift through millions of online identities and zero in on the most likely suspects, turning the vast anonymity of the dark web into a trail that leads straight to the perpetrator. Data breaches are common, leaking sensitive user information online. For the public, these leaks are a security risk. For the FBI, they're an invaluable OSINT resource. Investigators cross-reference known suspect information with leaked databases. Finding reused credentials can provide new information. A hacker's alias or email in a data breach might reveal their real name and address. Hackers often reuse passwords, creating vulnerabilities. Investigators test these passwords against other accounts tied to the hacker. A successful login can provide definitive proof of identity. This method exploits a common human weakness convenience. Hackers might maintain security for main accounts but get careless with minor services. A forgotten form registration could hold the key to their real identity. Real-world cases show how simple OSINT mistakes can lead to hackers' downfall. Ross Ulbricht, creator of the Silk Road, made critical errors in operational security. An IRS agent found a post promoting Silk Road by a user named Altoid. Another post by Altoid asked for programming help, linking to rosselbricht at gmail.com. This email was a direct link between Silk Road and a real name. Investigators used OSINT to build a profile of Ulbricht. His LinkedIn and public writings aligned with the Silk Road's philosophy. OSINT and traditional surveillance linked Ulbricht's location to Silk Road activity. FBI agents arrested Ulbricht while he was logged into the Silk Road control panel. Even for a billion-dollar criminal enterprise, a single mistake unraveled his empire. The case shows how early mistakes can lead to a hacker's downfall. Your digital footprint is the invisible trail of data you leave behind every time you interact with the online world. Whether you're aware of it or not, Every click, search, and post adds to this growing record. It includes everything from your social media posts and comments to the websites you visit, the videos you watch, and even the information you provide when signing up for services or newsletters. Many people assume this trail is private or believe it's too scattered to be meaningful. But in reality, the internet never truly forgets, and your actions are often more visible than you think. 
every single piece of data no matter how small, contributes to a much larger and more detailed picture of who you are, your interests, habits, and even your routines. This picture can be assembled by anyone with the right tools and motivation, from advertisers and companies to hackers and identity thieves. Your social media profiles might contain personal information you intended to share only with friends or a specific audience, but privacy settings can change and data can be shared or leaked. Once information is online, it's incredibly tough to erase completely. Deleted posts or photos can resurface, and data can be archived or copied without your knowledge. That's why it's so important to be mindful of what you post and to regularly review and update your privacy settings on all your accounts. Even beyond social media, websites you visit log your IP address, browser type, and operating system, creating a technical profile of your online activity. Your smartphone constantly tracks your location, building a detailed record of your movements and habits, which can be used for targeted ads or even more invasive purposes. Understanding your digital footprint is the crucial first step toward managing and protecting it. Awareness empowers you to make smarter choices online. Use strong, unique passwords for every account and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible to add an extra layer of security. By taking control of your digital footprint, you make it much harder for others to build a detailed profile of you, keeping your personal information safer and your online identity more secure. The digital world is integral to our lives, but it comes with serious risks. Cybercriminals constantly develop new ways to exploit vulnerabilities. The FBI's methods show that information is permanent and anonymity is fragile. The best defense is to arm yourself with knowledge and practice good cybersecurity hygiene. Staying informed is a necessity, not an option. Follow reputable cybersecurity researchers and news outlets for timely information. Understanding attackers' tactics helps you defend against them. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. Be skeptical of unsolicited communications and avoid suspicious links. Keep your software and applications updated to patch security holes. Cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. Protecting yourself helps protect others. An informed user is less likely to spread malware. Continue to learn, stay vigilant, and secure your digital life.